I'm Laurel and I'm a designer here at Zerb. This week, we're kicking off a great new series called Zero to Website, where you're gonna learn how to create a website from scratch. This course is great for those who are new to developing, who are designers who wanna to learn to code, or if you're in design management and you wanna be able to work with your team better. For this lesson, we'll go over how a website works, the tools you'll need to be able to create one, and finally, installing foundation. Let's dive in. So, the goal is to get you from zero all the way to building and deploying your first site by the end of this series. I think the best question to answer first is, what the heck is a framework anyway? A framework is a collection of reusable code and design patterns that are really common on websites, but can be time consuming to build out. The foundation framework is the world's most advanced front end framework because it's easy to use and flexible. Foundation provides you with pre-made HTML, CSS, and JavaScript that allows you to build common web patterns. It will save you time and avoid the headache of figuring out how to create interactive components and responsive grid and complex styles and animations. Whew, Foundation's great. So great that a lot of companies use it like Pixar, eBay, and Cisco, and the list goes on. So at the end of this course, we will download Foundation, but before we do so, Let's go into the details of how a website works. So, we have several languages. There's HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. This is what builds the structure or skeleton of the website. When you start writing your own HTML, you will see that there's nothing really pretty about it. It is basically laying out your content into an organized structure using markup consisting of a set of nested tags, each containing content and annotated with additional information such as classes, IDs, and data attributes. HTML is entirely structural and contains no visual or graphical information. Then there's the CSS, or Cascading Style Sheets. This is the skin of the website. Ooh. This is where you start bringing in different fonts, colors, borders, hover states to give the structure, um, structured markup its visual presentation. Then there's JavaScript. This is what brings in interactive effects within your web browser, but this isn't something you should focus on in the beginning. In Foundation, we offer a lot of JavaScript components, which basically allow you to copy and paste what you need, and ta-da, you have some really cool interactions. An example of this would be an accordion menu that opens and closes, showing hidden content. So, how do these languages work together? A browser is a tool that knows how to display a particular type of document. Just like Microsoft Word is a tool that knows how to display Word documents, the browser knows how to display web documents. Web documents are written in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. When you enter a web address in your browser, for example, zerb.com, that tells the browser to go ask a computer at that address for a document to show. The browser sends a request to the computer at zerb.com, which responds with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Computers that respond to browser requests like this are often called servers. Upon receiving those files, the browser interprets that HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and displays the website for you to see. So now that we have a basic understanding of how a website works and the languages that go in to make it, like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, let's talk about responsive design. Have you noticed that some sites are able to change and adapt when you view it on a tablet or phone? Well, that's what responsive web design is. It's basically a website with a single code base that can change styles and layout to fit any device. The way a responsive website works is by using media queries. Media queries are a CSS rule that allows you to have your website do or show different things depending on the screen resolution or size, aka what device it is on. For example, I want my menu to show horizontally on desktop but when on a, the website is on a mobile device, it needs to show as a hamburger menu and open vertically. That's when a media query comes in handy. The grid in Foundation can help take care of a lot of responsive features that would otherwise be very time consuming to code up. It allows you to specify how you want your content laid out directly into your HTML using simple rows and columns. More on that later in this series. Responsive design is web design nowadays. In the age of smartphones and tablets, it is very important to have a mobile first approach. Meaning, think first about how your website will look on a mobile device and design for that, then expand out for desktop. If you already have some HTML and CSS chops, you might wanna skip this part. If not, we have some resources for you to learn up on before you dive into building your first responsive site with Foundation. So before you can fully understand the power of a framework like Foundation, 
and how it can help you build responsive websites faster, you want to have a basic knowledge and ability to code HTML and CSS. The great thing is these coding languages are pretty straightforward and can be learned in a matter of months. As you'll see, we have a list of free resources and affordable courses here, so please take a look and see which one works best for you. We find it super helpful here at Zurb to keep a cheat sheet handy for quick reference while you're first starting to learn code. And quite honestly, as you continue to grow your skill set, know that even when you're a pro at coding, you still may need to look something up, so don't feel obligated to have it all memorized. Once you feel comfortable with HTML and CSS, you can then jump into one of our beginner courses for Foundation, which will teach you how to use Foundation to build a responsive site in more detail than this series will provide. So, what tools of the trade do you need? To get started, first things first, you'll need a text editor. This is where you write all of your HTML and CSS and where you'll open Foundation and work off the organized files we provide. Sublime Text or Atom are great options for a free or affordable text editors. Second, you'll need an inspector. Whether you want to see how a website is built or you are taking a look at your own website and trying to find why something isn't working, the inspector is going to be your best friend. It is available in most browsers, but we suggest using Chrome. You simply right-click on the website or the part of the website you want to inspect and then select Inspect. From there, you can see the HTML and CSS that makes up a site. It's a great way to learn how pages are built and even better for debugging issues on your site. Third, we have the boilerplate. When you first start learning HTML and CSS, you may hear something about a boilerplate. A boilerplate is the basic code you need on every page to make them render properly. It includes CSS that makes sure that your styles look the same on every browser, which is called a reset. Though you won't need this when you use the foundation framework, since we already have our own built into the files because we do like that, you should know why it's important to use one. Then you should get a CodePen account. They describe themselves as a playground for the front end side of the web. And this is a great place to, to practice your code and see what others are doing. Definitely make an account, start exploring and playing. And here's an example of one of my first code pins right here. Lastly, GitHub. GitHub is an online community for developers. It's where you store your code and manage the different versions you or your team have created. It basically helps you stay organized and not get confused or make mistakes with all the code you'll be juggling. As you become more familiar with coding, you will start using what is called Git and the command line on your computer to help push out that code to GitHub. If you're not familiar using the command line, GitHub offers a handy app instead. But for now, familiarize yourself with GitHub and explore what others do on it. So we've mentioned a lot of great things already about how a framework like Foundation makes creating a website quicker and more robust. From helping with responsive design and coding quicker to being considerate of different browsers, Foundation removes the worry of code and allows you to focus on the content and presentation. After you get down the basics of HTML and CSS, you're going to want to start learning and working in a foundation framework right away. Well, how do you do this? Let me show you the steps of downloading the foundation framework. So you're going to make your way down to foundation.zurb.com and here's the site. Ta-da! Um, you're going to click right there on the front page, download foundation six. It'll take you to this page where you see a lot of different options. Um, but these are like essentials and custom and SAS. Those, those are things that you will probably use down the road, especially SAS. Um, I highly suggest learning SAS. But um, till then, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna download this complete. You'll just click download everything. And what this has in it is all the components to um, what a foundation framework can provide you. So button styles, uh, the grid, all that stuff. Um, it'll help you learn how to use how to use foundation faster. So it's been downloaded. I'm just gonna drag it over here on my desktop. I'm gonna open up the folder um, from the zip file, but you don't actually have to go into the folder. I think that's a really important thing um, to know. The cool thing is you can just drag this whole folder down to Atom or any, any text editor and it opens it up for you, all of the files. So Adam likes to give a lot of little pages like this. I'm just gonna close those out. Um, and then you already see there's a bit of a structure going on over here. This we will touch on next week and explain everything that goes into it. But till then, 
um, take a look at what all is included and take a look at the links I provided and we'll go from there. Okay. Awesome. So you just learned how a website works and you have foundation installed in your computer. Woohoo! <laughs> so next week we'll be going over boilerplates, templates, how to add pages and CSS and we don't want you to miss it. So make sure you subscribe and Yeti gets a pot of gold. So till then, Start studying, start practicing, and we'll see you next week.